So continuing our series on unsound chess, I'm going to introduce uh, the readership here to a gambit that is possibly the worst defense in chess. Now we already did the Duras gambit, the so-called like f5 response to e4. Now we're going to do the e4 response to d d4. So um, obviously nothing protects the e pawn. Um, and uh, frankly, I play this because I got really sick of people avoiding the Budapest defense. I would play that, which is similarly unsound, but sounder anyway. Uh, because they would play d4 and then knight to f3 in the second move, preventing the Budapest. So I went to this uh, England gambit thing, and uh, the England gambit is so unsound that almost no matter what white does, he gets more space, he cramps black, um, even simple logical moves. Um, give white a huge plus. Uh, some, in some cases, you know, a, a player who's like 500 points less than you is going to get a great position against you just by accident. So why would you play such an opening? Well, that's a good question. So I'm going to show you a game, and that ought to answer that question. At any rate, if the game progresses beyond all the little trappy things that happen at first, be prepared to make a lot of forced moves. You can survive this. The England Gambit uh, basically runs your opponent out of patience because they keep looking at the position and saying why am I not like completely blowing this person off the board look at all this space I have you know I ought to be able to checkmate them I material up and yet I can't seem to make things work in some cases you're not castling white blacks moving his king to d8 to protect the c7 pawn and things like that and yet it's a fortified position that's very difficult to get to get away with. Um, if you're white, you just can't force things. You have to know what you're doing and how to do it, and uh, finding the time and the plan to do that is unnatural if you've studied chess very long. So now we're going to the game itself, and uh, as you can see, I played e5. Now, the thing to note about this game is it's against a player who's rated 2127, okay, who has thousands of games of experience and yet, for some reason, doesn't understand the England Gambit. So the first thing that uh, can happen is a whole lot of people simply decline this Gambit. If they play d5, I play bishop to c5. If they play e3, I either push or take. Um, there are lots of ways to decline it, and it can become something else, like some sort of Gambit for white if he plays e4. So uh, you have to understand all these things are possible but the vast majority of players simply take it because it's unprotected and then you can keep it basically. So um, he takes and uh, we attack and now he covers and uh, now it becomes well how are we going to attack that again? You know he's got lots of ways to cover it. He can come out with his queen, he can play bishop to f4 and he does um, uh, have to make one more covering move here if he intends to keep the pawn and not just give it up and you know, just have a better position. So as you can see the engine already says he's up uh, three quarters of a pawn. I would actually expect it to be a little more. So uh, it depends on what the engine's recommending. He's recommending bishop to f4, which gets played. And now, uh, horrifyingly, d6 is the recommended engine move, which just simply is like not a wonderful thing. So we check, and now as you see, the checking is not the right move, according to the engine. Uh, there's lots of responses the engine gives that are correct, and some are not correct. And uh, Obviously, one of the things that happens is a lot of potsers will do something like they'll play um, knight, you know, interposing, and then, of course, you just schlep up the bishop on f4. And, and then, believe it or not, white can still get a good game, like if they play knight to c3. Then they can shift the knight out to d5 or someplace like that. So... Um, it's not the, the most horrible situation in the world for black, even if he drops a piece. So he goes back, and now it says queen to c5 is the move, or queen to e7. Uh, definitely not queen takes b2, which is what I played, where you go uh, way, way down. And of course the response the computer gives is knight to c3, and one of the things that happens is some players will play this move. Instinctually, based on what they're used to, uh, have it, or having looked in life at you know, ways to defeat this kind of formation in, in various iterations, a snatch of a g-pawn, or, or a pawn in this case, a knight to pawn at any rate, uh, it, this uh, move loses. So basically what we have here is this, 
And now, as you can see, white is completely lost after a short number of moves. And so lost that he should resign. Um, for instance, if he plays bishop takes bishop, one of the things we could do is not take the rook. We could just, like, take the, the bishop. And, uh, you know, that attacks the c-pawn and the rook. So, uh, you know, he, as kind of a last hurrah, he can try that, and then he gets this. And now he did resign in this position, rather than face the humiliation of the idea that he's going to save his rook by playing queen takes e3, which results in main one. So this was a very short game against an experienced opponent who had a pretty high rating. And um, I'm sure he's not proud of what happened, but you know, basically that's the that was the end of the world for him. So this was an example of the England Gambit and... Uh, uh, I'll be showing you future other England gambits uh, that were a lot more challenging for black, so goodbye.